Welcome to Dan and Mario explain how to change your wireless card from your old laptop to <laughs> your new one. Mario, take it from here. Okay. Both laptops in front of you, obviously. Um, unplugged, no power to it. Flip them both over. We have the old laptop on the left, new laptop on the right. First thing is you want to, again, make sure it's unplugged and take out both batteries. Take out this one, the old one, you just flip the switch on both sides and it should slide out. And take out the battery from the new one, is switch in the center, and you pop it out. Both batteries are out. Okay, now for the old laptop, you want to take out the central cover here that has the Windows XP Professional logo on it. It's three screws. It should pop right out or be difficult, depending. Okay. And note, um, of course, you will need a Phillips screwdriver. Yep. Preferably one where the Phillips head is Pretty fairly small. small. Yeah, to fit the screws. But the screws on both laptops will be the same. So if they'll fit on one, they'll fit on the other. So that's how you take off the cover on the old. And on the new, you're going to want to take off, again, it's going to have the Windows sticker on it. You want to take off that one. Okay, so now you have both doors open here where both cell cards are in. It's labeled the WAN card. So on the old laptop, the actual card is right here. What you want to do, you might want to zoom in here, Dan, to get this, is you have two wires, white and black. You want to pull those off of the laptop. You have to disconnect it, so you you dis you basically kind of get your nails in there. And they should just pull straight up with very little pressure. You shouldn't have to yank too hard. That right there is the trickiest part, folks. Yes. Um, after you do that, you basically you have two little notches on both sides of the WAN card there. Let me just get in there and show that. Yep. Two little metal on each side. You basically just pull them back and that should pop and open. Yep, pull it back and you see the WAN card will pop up, pop up and you can basically just lift and slide out from the slot in front. Make sure to slide back, don't try to lift up or you'll actually break the card. So just when it pops up, you just pull back and take it out of the slot. Okay. Now you need to place this in the WAN slot in the new laptop. So I'm just pull for myself here. I want to pull the wires. Yeah, so you have these little plastic covers on the wires here. Take that off, both white and the black wire. And the first thing you do is you pop the card into the slot. It'll only fit in one way. So you push it in. Make sure it kind of clicks and then you press down. Now just a side note, these are supposed to be secured by a small screw. As you notice in this hole right here, as of now we have no screws, we have to order one. So for now, the cover will try to keep it in place. But what I've been doing is as I pop this in, I've been sort of maneuvering this wire kind of on top of it. That also gives it a little more security. If you notice the black and white wire kind of pushed it right here and that helps hold it in place a little better till we get the the screws. And here's the trickiest part of it is now you need to connect these wires to the corresponding holes. You have a white goes to the white triangle, you have a black to the black triangle. This might take a bit, they can be a little finicky sometimes. You shouldn't have to force it too much. If you are you're in danger of bending the pin. So you kind of have to very carefully line it up as I see white with white and give it a little pressure to see if it clicks in just like so yeah so it's like a, it's almost like a button so it's a matter of getting the uh, to line it up correctly and push down yeah like yeah. a little snap button so you uh, yeah. make it put it over it and wiggle it around and just push down firmly and it snaps into place exactly 
And again, if you have to push too hard, you probably don't have it lined up correctly, you know, flat on it. You might be coming in at an angle. Definitely don't force it. You will bend the pin. Then you have to do the same. And you should be able to push it down with your fingers. You don't need any tool. To the black wire. But again, it's maneuvering around the white wire, depending on how they're set up on your laptop, can be a little tricky. Okay. So if you noticed, now I have both white and black in. Now I'm just going to try to, they're clicked in, they're both connected to the right spot, white to white, black to black. Now I just kind of want to, I need to get these wires out of the way in order to close the door. So I'm just trying to somehow push these wires inside. I'm not trying to stab them, just kind of move them out of the way. But make sure I'm holding these so these don't become disconnected while I'm moving the wires. You'll see that right back here there's a little tab that the, uh, the wires go underneath. Make sure the wires are underneath there so mm -hmm. they don't get caught in the door. So they're out of the way of the door. It still sh feels and still clicked in. So now we just put the cover back on the new laptop. It only goes in one way. Screw that. And with your old laptop here, you have the plastic covers you took off from the newer one. You can just slip those right on the wires that we're no longer using on the old laptop. It should slide right on. Tuck them out of the way of the door. Underneath this little tab here, this also has that tab. And then just put cover back on. Tighten all three screws. Put the batteries back in both. Batteries will click in and on the new laptop and you're good to go. Those are both cell cards are now on both laptops.